You may have noticed at your local Lowe's that there's a new Cobalt 24 drill and hammer drill. So what's the big deal about these and should you buy them? Where do they fit? Let's answer those questions and more right now. So the first question that we had when the Gen 3 Cobalt 24 volt cordless tools came out was where do they fit? Is this more replacing that original line that we saw come out several years ago? Or is it more about replacing the XTR line that came out just a couple of years ago? Well, a lot of this is going to be revealed as we go through the tools. So let's just start with what we've got on the surface here. Now, we do have both tools. This is the drill driver and this is the hammer drill driver. And one of the first things that we notice on these is that they are more compact than they were before. So this is the hammer drill. It measures 7.1 inches from tip to tail. Now the old version, we're looking back to Gen 1, that was 8.1 inches long. So this thing dropped an entire inch off of the length compared to that one. It's also a little bit lighter. It dropping from, with this four amp hour battery, it's 4.8 pounds. That old one, it was five pounds, so a little bit lighter. Now, here on the drill driver, we're down to 6.7 inches and a couple tenths of a pound lighter on that one too. So, lighter and more compact, that's the beginning of the story that we're telling here, but it's really about the performance. Mode one, gave you 550 RPM and flipping over into mode two high speed that gave you 2000 RPM. That's exactly the same for this drill and hammer drill. Where we see a bigger difference though is going to be in the power that's available. Those Gen 1 tools had 650 inch pounds of torque. Both of these are packing 850 inch pounds. And this is where we finally see everything kind of coming to fruition as well because when we look up to XTR, those tools have 1200 inch pounds of torque. So what we've got is an improvement on Gen 1 not so much a replacement for the XTR line. Now there's one other thing worth noting for the performance on the hammer drill. That old version was 26,000 blows per minute. This one's coming up to 32,000 blows per minute. So we do have a higher impact rate too, and that's gonna help us when we're doing our concrete drilling. Now one other thing I want that we noticed and I wanna point out is the difference in the collar on these two tools. So you notice on the drill driver, the clutch settings and the driver setting, it's all on the same collar, which is pretty typical, no, no big deal there. But we prefer when they've got a separate collar from the clutch, and that's what they do on the hammer drill. So if you wanna switch from hammer mode to driving mode to drilling mode, that's all right here. And then when you're using that drive mode, then the clutch collar is separate from it. So we do like that feature. And then of course, both of these are including all metal half inch chucks. These are Jacobs chucks, so they are high quality. And got a couple other things going on. LED light on the foot right there where we expect to see it. And of course, we're using these with the uh, four amp hour cobalt batteries. They work just fine with a two amp hour as well if you wanna save some weight. Before we jump into the price, let's talk about some context here just a little bit because you know when you look at these and you got 850 inch pounds of torque and then you're looking at XTR and they've got 1200, you're thinking, oh well, I definitely want XTR, but maybe not. Well, just think back for a few years and it wasn't that long ago that 850 inch pounds of torque on any brand's pro level drill was as high as you were gonna get and pros were doing fantastic work with that. So yeah, 1200 inch pounds is great if you really need it, but these tools are gonna do almost anything that you can imagine, including running those two and nine sixteenths inch self feed bits on rough ends. So keep that in mind because price is gonna come into play as well. Now pricing is a little weird right now. We're still waiting for some of this stuff to roll out. So we got a kit option for you that's gonna be with the drill driver. Okay, now that's gonna run 139. Now it's gonna come with a two amp hour battery, not the four amp hour that we're using on this. 139 for the kit on that. But it's only available as a kit. The hammer drill, on the other hand, it's only available as a bare tool, and that's gonna be $129. Now, we expect to see these showing up in some other combos. Hopefully, we're gonna get a, a bare tool option for the drill driver if you've already got batteries. Hopefully, we're gonna get a kick option if you want the battery to go with the hammer drill. But we'll have to see as this Gen 3 rolls out. So you have any other questions about these tools, feel free to shoot those in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.